Hello, Taurus souls. Welcome to your reading. I am so grateful that you are here. My name is Nikki, and I use my clairaudient and channeling abilities to help people find the magic within. If you're new here, welcome. I am so excited to be bringing this reading to you today. This week's series, I have channeled 12 different Disney quotes for each zodiac sign. I found a website with the caption 155 Disney quotes. So I channeled the messages and I wrote them on some slips of paper here. I have two left. So I was called to do this series because Disney movies have a way of evoking a lot of joyful emotions within us. And when I was a young kid, my grandma would watch me and my sister in the morning because my mom worked she would put on a Disney movie, we'd watch 20 minutes of it, we'd have some breakfast, and then I would go to school. And the next day we would do it all over again. So it created some really fond memories within me that I have with my grandma and my sister in the bonding that we created together from these Disney films. So let's see what your Disney word is, Taurus. We have laughter is America's most important export, and Walt Disney is the one who said this. Of the 155 Disney quotes, this was number 94. So feel free to look up angel number 94 to see if your angels are bringing you any additional messages at this time. Next, I will be pulling one card from four different decks, the first of which is the Disney Villains deck. Thank you, Spirit. What are your additional messages for my Taurus souls? We have the Seven of Swords. Next we have the Moonology deck. Thank you, Spirit. What else? You are good enough, full moon in Virgo. Next, we have the Light Seer Tarot. Thank you, Spirit. What else? We have the Two of Pentacles. And the last deck of cards we're using is the Angel Answers deck. Thank you, Spirit. What are your final messages for my Taurus souls? Ooh, this one fell right out. We have Trust. Okay, Taurus, let's reflect on your quote here. Laughter is America's most important export. So spirit is saying to laugh, to not take yourself so seriously or situations in your life so seriously. Laughter has a way of neutralizing energy in a very powerful way. So I'd like to place my hand on this quote and see what spirit is bringing through here 
what are some experiences where spirit is saying to laugh more? Thank you. I'm hearing the word pseudonym. So it's like having I'm being shown like an argument where somebody is getting angry about not calling something what it actually is or should be, getting all bent out of shape about it. Spirit is saying to find the humor in this situation, to not let this affect you in the negative way where it's leading to reactions or leading to arguments with other people. Now, we can't get around having conflict with people. We can't get around not having arguments. But there's someone here in your energetic field who's very, very particular about calling things certain things is what I'm seeing. And... It's creating a very negative energy. So can you be a little more specific about this spirit and what you mean by bringing laughter into this? Thank you. feel like this is something that took place online. I'm hearing the word trolls. So when I hear trolls, I always think of the internet. I feel like there somebody made a comment or something on the internet. And this is somebody who's like an ultimate keyboard warrior. They they hide behind their keyboard. But there's also something very humorous about this as well. And Spirit has shown me that you're picking up on it. And they're saying that if you can laugh this situation off and not let it bother you. Because I'm seeing there is something here, something this person said that has made you feel like you're not good enough. And that's not true. You are and you always have been good enough. The fact that you are here, the fact that you exist, you are good enough. So I don't know who this keyboard warrior is, but the things they're saying, we have the Seven of Swords here, and this is a card all about lies. So whatever this person is saying about you, it's not true. Don't believe what they're throwing down. Spirit is saying if you can find the humor in the situation, You'll see it in a different light, and you won't let that negative energy inside here. So I'm just curious, Spirit, can you tell me what the funny part of this story is? What's funny about this? Thank you. <laughs> They're saying it's funny because this person doesn't follow their own advice. They're saying it's funny because this person doesn't do what they're telling everybody else to do. Like, I'm seeing that they they call out people for pseudonyms or something, and they say, you should refer to people in this light. You should refer to people in this way. But yet, they're not even doing that themselves. And I'm I'm actually seeing that you will see... proof of this if you have not already and this isn't like laughter at the expense 
of someone else or making fun of someone. It's just the humor in the situation, seeing that somebody isn't doing what they themselves are telling other people to do. That's why it's funny is because then it's not you see it in a different light and you don't you don't take that energy in is what they're showing me what else spirit thank you Yeah, they're, they're showing me an example of, um, another example. I don't know if you're familiar with the comedian, I think his name is Josh, Josh Blue, I believe his name is, but he has a very sil, he has a very serious illness called cerebral palsy, I believe it is what he has, but what he does is he he neutralizes the energy around his disability with humor like he he laughs at himself he doesn't take himself so seriously and because he's so authentic in that way people love him like they're they're really showing me him how he sees the humor in a lot of different situations he doesn't let people put him down because he has accepted who he is and the fact that he's in a place where he can crack joke jokes about himself and laugh it's it's truly admirable and shows his level of success because of how he owns who he is so laughing at yourself is actually a form of loving yourself and you are good enough despite whoever these people these internet trolls the key, these keyboard warriors have been saying what else is going on with the seven of swords here this is the energy of lies and deception so what is not truthful in the Taurus's life right now? Thank you. I'm hearing the word jackpot. So for some of you, there's something about gambling What's what's the deception here in, with gambling? Thank you. I feel this is an energy around you where one someone said they won more money than they did or they're saying they have more money than they do. They're not being honest about their finances. For some of you, I feel this is somebody you share the bills with. Others, this is someone who owes you money. And they're not being honest about having the money to give to you. Some of them have gambled it away. Some of them say they won more money than they actually did. What else, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, they're drawing me to the Two of Pentacles here. This situation with this, this person who's not being honest about finances 
it's leading you to have to make a very difficult decision and see how the gal on the card she's juggling these two purses like should I do this or should I do that and her face she's just so stressed out because she doesn't know what she should do what else is going on here spirit thank you Yeah, they're drawing me to the trust card. They're saying trust that everything is working out for you. Because when you take that perspective, you always have the higher vantage point. Having trust and having faith will work wonders. And when it comes to having faith and trust, this is something that we have to train ourselves to do. We have to keep auto-suggesting it to ourselves so say these things every single day to yourself say I have trust that everything is working out for me I believe everything is working out for me I believe there is a solution to this and it's making its way to me now it's revealing itself to me now thank you that I know what to do and these are conversations you're having with yourself because your thoughts your beliefs and your emotions everything with inside of you that is reflected out here. So if you keep believing that whoever this person is is lying to you, if you keep believing that you'll never get out of this situation, that you're stuck, this is what you'll continue to create. You have to literally flip the belief. And also, if this is a toxic person that you need to pull your energy away from, then assess that. How is this person making you feel? Is this, what lessons are you learning from this person? Is this someone you're not supposed to engage with in financial transactions because they keep showing you who they are? Be very mindful. People show you who they are with their actions and their words. So what other messages do you have for my Taurus soul spirit? Thank you. They're saying even though you have people around you who are not being truthful, don't let that get inside here. Stay truthful to yourself and everything else will work itself out. Be truthful with yourself. Which could also mean to be honest about this situation with the Seven of Swords energy. Sometimes when this type of energy is in our lives, depending on the person, if it's someone we do value, it can be very difficult to be truthful with ourselves if we're in a state of denial about what's really going on. So is there some part of you, Taurus, that you refuse to see about this person who is lying to you? Just some things to think about. Any final messages for my Taurus souls? Thank you, Spirit. I'm also hearing racing. Are some of you fans of going to the racetrack or watching race car driving? Or is this something you're going to be doing soon now that the weather is getting warmer? They're also using the racetrack as a metaphor for a cycle, how the, the cars keep going around fast, fast, fast. If we're stuck in 
a cycle that we can't, we don't feel like we can get out of. It just keeps building momentum with that cycle until we look at it for what it is and make a new decision to break out of it. So in this cycle, what is the decision that you have found that you keep making over and over again that keeps getting you the same results? What decision would you have to make to change the energy and break the cycle? Those are some other things to think about here. But overall, Taurus, spirit is saying to make time to laugh, to see the humor in even the most difficult of situations when possible. Because laughter is America's most important export, according to Walt Disney. So laughing at movies that you find hilarious, hanging out with some friends who you know you'll laugh for hours with, just doing whatever you can to get into an energy of laughter, to see the humor in the situation based off of the truth that is also revealing itself with people who are around you right now who are not being honest. So there are some situations here where there's some keyboard warriors who are making little snipey comments on the internet, but they themselves aren't even following what they're saying. They're not doing what they're telling other people to do. So that's why these people should not be taken seriously and you should not let their energy affect you. And also there's another type of energy around you where someone's not being honest about money. So assess that situation and if need be, pull your energy back, but also at the same time, trust that everything is working out for you. Have faith and surrender the negative feelings around the situation over to the divine. Spirit is saying you are good enough, Taurus. Anyone who has ever made you feel like you are not, that is not true. That was a lie. You came into this world good enough. You came into this world worthy and lovable as you are, okay? So you are good enough because you exist. With the Two of Pentacles, there's a lot of going back and forth with what decision to make. And I feel this has to do with whoever this deceptive energy is. So when making this decision, ask yourself, if I make this decision, am I making it out of fear? And if I make this decision, am I making it out of love? The one where you're making it out of love is always the right answer. So that is all that I am seeing, Taurus. If your reading resonated, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!